All right, guys, I decided to do a little more work after the chamber cut just to work on the short side radius speeds and the roof speeds. As far as our liquid, we look pretty good. You got a little bit more on the absolute roof than we had. I would say that is probably a little bit narrower than it was. Our valve looks good. Take a look on the chamber. It is lighter on the chamber here than it was. It's lighter in here than it was. It is lighter in the bore than it was. And it's also possible I sprayed a little bit less dica. That's always part of the equation. Try to do the same, but... Okay, our liquid definitely changed direction, too. It's much straighter now than it was. Much straighter, right? It had much of a much more of a turn before. And I do see a little bit on the other side of the guide where we didn't have any before. And uh, some of the work that I did do is I took a little bit I took a little bit of metal out of the pinch here because we were starting to get really high speeds in the middle and on the floor actually, right? It's upside down. So I took some, some area from here and from here, this whole area got a little bit of a little bit of metal taken out. Try to reduce those speeds a bit. Okay, the short side radius got quite a bit of work. I pushed the width, and I took a bunch off the apex actually, so it got a little bit lower, and the arc starts further back, trying to get a handle on those short side radius speeds was not completely uh, successful at that, as you'll see when we go through the numbers. Okay, inside the bowl, one side of the roof got some area taken out to try to equalize the roof speeds a bit. Not completely successful. Okay, so this was our chamber cut. This I did a little work on the short side radius, the bowl, and the pinch. See how we did. We got a plus, plus, minus, 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 plus, plus, minus, plus, plus, plus. Okay, at 300, got a small plus. Still low. Whenever you start knocking that short side radius back, 300 usually takes a beating. This is better than I would have expected it to be, to be honest. But we really start moving some air, like 600 lift, 263 and change is not bad. Actually, that was at 0.57. 600 was 265.3. Um, I took a quick look on uh, Stan Weiss's site. I think one guy's got uh, got them up to 270. Okay, he's probably got a lot bigger port than I'm running right now, though. And we to we're topped out right then. Okay, as far as our swirls... By working on the air speeds, I actually knocked the swirl back, except for in two spots. This is a better curve than this at this point, right? If we're running at 600, yeah, 255 versus 18, it's, they're both good. This one, I like this one better, though. All right, now we're comparing these air speeds to these air speeds. These are in reference to these, these are in reference to these, these are in reference to these. I gave it some more area, the floor, and the middle. We still went up in the middle. We're also moving more air. This is at 600. Okay, They're definitely a lot more even. Look at how close they are now. Getting better. The pinch is getting better. The roof, I actually gave it more area to change the speeds, but guess what? More air wanted to go there. All right, the straight wall was almost the same. It's a minus, but it's only minus one. And the short side, I did work to to slow it down. Not completely successful, as in these both went up. This only went up a little bit, but the middle really is cranking. 445 is more than I would like to see. 
okay? And I did work to aim the flow to this side. Mm, I don't know if I was successful because the speeds really didn't go up. So as far as experiments go, I don't know. Is it a winner or is it a loser? You can write in the uh, in the comments whether it's a winner or a loser. But any head that's doing 265 at 600, it's okay with me. Remember, it's not a giant port. Yeah, that's thunder in the background, guys. We have excellent thunder here. Keeps me in business. Lightning and thunder blows up electronics left and right. It's great. Somebody actually suggested, hold on, filling part of this bowl with clay, because it's a very squared off bowl at this point. This, this is very straight, this wall. Too straight as far as I'm concerned. Okay? So if we could change that... We'll lose, we'll lose top end flow, but it might improve in the middle. I'm going to think about that in the comments if you uh, think that's worthy, a worthy waste of my time. We could try that. Someone else suggested I took this, take this entire guide out. Now, I'm not completely opposed to that. I used to do that type of stuff in the 90s on E7 Ford heads. Just take the guide completely out of the intake and the exhaust. Those ran hard. Uh... I always get, I get uh, flack for that Mustang only running 11 in the quarter, but it did cross the line at 128, so it was making decent power for a 306, and it wasn't exactly a lightweight. It was a heavy, it was a heavier car. It had two tops. It had Big Mike in it. Big Mike's not little guy by any stretch of the imagination, <laughs> and uh, those runs were. Always, he always ran faster on street tires. He had big problems getting to hook on slicks. And uh, no matter what he did, he had a horrible six, a zero to sixty foot. Uh, it used to, <laughs> it used to pull down the big cars in the mid, in the middle of the track like nobody's business. Guys couldn't believe it was a normally aspirated small block without nitrous. Ah, I'm ga I'm just, I'm blathering. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I'm trying to think anything else I got to talk about. I think we're good. Thanks. Good night.